My name's Rich Harrington, and I'd like to show you how Luminar can be used to enhance an image with Adobe Photoshop. In this case, I have a street photograph from the busy streets of New York at night. And what I want to do is enhance this a little bit. Using the raw file here, things are looking good. I'm just going to take advantage of the upright adjustment and provide a balanced adjustment here. There we go. And let's click on the workflow options and make sure open in Photoshop as smart object is selected. Now it's going to bring this in so that filters are non-destructive. There we go. And let's apply Luminar. Filter, Skylum software, Luminar 3. And the image is opened up immediately into a new window. Now, there's a lot we could do with this image, but what I want to do is invoke the street photography workspace. So I'll choose street. This is going to make it a lot easier. And for now, let's hide the presets or looks. Using the develop module, I can really take advantage of bringing out some of the details. Let's turn on the histogram clipping here so we can see things. And we've got some clipping in the white point. So we'll do a little bit of recovery there on the highlights to bring those back so the clipping disappears. And we can push the white point slightly until it just starts to come back. And you see there we have the maximum white in the scene. Similarly, we have some black clipping up here in the deepest, darkest shadows. Now a little bit of that is okay, so I'll leave that in place, but I could refine that with the shadow slider to recover those details to ensure maximum dynamic range. I like that. Next, let's take advantage of Accent AI. This is an incredibly smart filter, and what it does is analyze the details in the scene to provide selective exposure and contrast adjustment. That works quite nicely. Now I see that we have a little bit of pop there, but that's in a street light, so I'm gonna call that okay. Next, let's leave color alone, but deal with advanced contrast. This is a wonderful filter that allows you to really target the different tonal ranges to put in a little bit of contrast into the highlights and the shadows. And you can even adjust where that is targeted to get a perfect balance. And of course, structure. This makes it super easy to provide detail in an image. And you see how it just brings that street photography to life with great details. Speaking of details, let's apply the Details Enhancer filter. I'll just click Add Filter and search through the 51 filters that Luminar makes available. Now I can drag that up earlier in the stack if I want, and you see how all these filters are combining. And what we're looking for here is to put a little bit of detail in the medium area. You see that that really starts to bring it out, and I'll reduce it in the large area to cut down a noise in the sky and a small pop to small details to really sharpen things up. That looks great. Now, if you want a soft focus, you could put that in afterwards and it creates this great glow. You see how that's really starting to target some of the softness in the image, and I like that, a good overall lift. And now let's do a little bit of a curve and get good contrast. Now, this is feeling really good, but I want to stylize this a bit. So let's toss on a texture. I'll just load this in and I can select from different textures. Here are some free ones that I downloaded from the Skylum website with the tonality preset pack. And this gives me a great texture that I can then blend with the image to give it more of a distressed filmic look. That looks great. And let's finish that with a little bit of a vignette, but pop the inner brightness and feather it for a gentle blend and some grain to give this a bit of grit. Now I like that and I'm happy with the overall adjustment, but what I'd like to do now is convert this to black and white. And this is one of the areas that Luminar shines. I can add a new adjustment layer and now all of the effects are isolated. And if we open up the looks browser here, you'll see I have a bunch of new looks loaded and you can build upon these by just clicking get more looks. In this case, I've downloaded some of the free tonality presets and I'm gonna experiment with some of the options here. Let's try, for example, tonality film emulation. And you see a bunch of cool black and white film stocks that can be applied to change the look of the image. 
and there are several options here that are evocative of different styles and you can look at those. Of course, everything is totally customizable. You see that all the effects are here and one of those options is the smart tone filter, which makes it easy to define midpoints as well as go after a little bit your highlights, shadows, white and black point for the perfect black and white conversion. Well, I really like that. And at this point, I want to save my work. So I'll just click apply and everything is returned to Photoshop. It gets attached to that image and it becomes a smart filter. What that means is in the future, if you ever need to modify it, you can just double click on the filter to reopen it. And you see it updates, giving me that great black and white filmic image that I want. Remember, Luminar has 51 filters and a myriad of possibilities, but this is just one way to work with it inside of Adobe Photoshop.